State Biodiversity Board has taken up an initiative to produce a short film documentary series to showcase the rich biodiversity of the state christened as a window to Andhra Pradesh biodiversity. This is a part of various measures initiated by the board to create awareness and capacity building of the general public, the Biodiversity Management Committee members, school and college students, academicians, researchers and nature lovers who are the stakeholders. An estuarine ecosystem is a partially enclosed body of water and its surrounding coastal habitats where salt water from the oceans typically mixes with fresh water from rivers or streams. This coastal area houses a unique ecosystem which is usually overlooked. This is called the mangroves ecosystem. Mangrove forests represent an ecosystem of incredible biological diversity comprising mollusks, crustacean, fish, reptile, bird and mammal species apart from many plant species of Avicennia, Bruchiera, Excocaria, Rhizophora and other species. These plants have adaptations like viviparous seeds, pre-germinated seeds before their dispersal, breathing roots or pneumatophores and there are epiphytic plants to suit to the marshy environment. Andhra Pradesh is endowed with rich estuarine and mangrove forests all along its long coast with rich biodiversity. The Koringa Wildlife Sanctuary in East Godavari district has the second largest mangrove forest area in India with more than 80,000 acres spread. The Krishna Wildlife Sanctuary harbors above 60,000 acres of mangrove area. It is significant to note that brisk restoration works by the forest department have resulted not only in the increase in area but also increase in the quality of these mangroves as reported by the Forest Survey of India. Sensitization of local communities and ensuring their involvement in protecting the rich biodiversity of mangroves help restoration process. Estuaries are the world's richest carbon stocks known as blue carbon. It is estimated that about four to six times more carbon is stored in estuaries compared to terrestrial ecosystems. Maintaining the estuaries and keeping carbon in fixed condition is very important in order to reduce global warming. These ecosystems are prone for adverse impacts of climate change and there would be encroachment of sea into coastal lands leading to disastrous consequences to the communities living in and around the coastal areas if preventive measures are not taken on a war footing. Out of the many annual visitors for these coastlines are the olive Ridley sea turtles. These enormous armoured animals do nesting coming from faraway oceans to lay their eggs and return back on their journey in the vast seas. The young ones hatch between 50 to 60 days. And head back to the sea. It's nature's marvel that the female turtles return to the same beaches where they were hatched to lay their eggs.
The Andhra Pradesh government has taken up conservation measures for over a decade to create awareness among the public and help conserve marine animals by creating artificial hatcheries and appointment of wildlife watchers for olive ridley turtles. NGOs and partnership with NTPC are also involved in the conservation for the last four years. About twice the size of our house cats, the elusive fishing cat is a nocturnal feline which inhabits these mangrove forests. Acting as the high-level consumer in tropic level, it feeds on fishes, frogs, crustaceans, snakes, birds and scavengers on carcasses of larger animals. Skippers are amphibious fishes uniquely adapted to live in mudflats and mangrove ecosystems. They exhibit a wide range of adaptations that allow them to live both on land and in water. They have well-developed telescopic eyes and are active carnivores. They can climb up tree roots, trunks and lower branches of the mangrove trees. The most significant ecosystem service offered by the mangroves is acting like a natural barrier to winds and the waves. The mangroves significantly decrease the intensity of the storms while reducing their human and material loss. Andhra Pradesh has a vast coastline and is prone for cyclonic storms regularly as a part of climate patterns. It is significant to note that the Petai cyclone that hit the Karkanad coast just a few years back the mangrove forests have protected the coastal areas and the Kakina town from devastation. Scientists all over have appreciated the conservation efforts of the government. Although very complex and resilient to natural disturbances, these estuarine ecosystems worldwide are endangered by human activity and are being impacted much faster than the other ecosystems. Deforestation, shrimp farming and coastal development are one of its largest threats. Pollution of different types is impacting the estuarine ecosystems. Chemical effluents released into the sea, especially the untreated effluents, is a major problem. Unregulated use of agrochemicals, pesticides and insecticides to increase the crop yields on land and in fish and prawn culture is also polluting the estuaries. Plastic pollution is another major threat to the estuaries and coastal waters, highly impacting the life forms there. Entanglement and engulfing plastic debris have been responsible for the deaths of many marine organisms such as fish, seals, turtles and birds. The result is suffocation or drowning. It's not too late. We can still save our remaining estuarine ecosystems. These vital ecosystems deserve our respect and care. So do the creatures that call it home. The people in general, including the students, rural folks, fishermen, agriculturalists and industrialists, non-profits and the biodiversity management committees have to be sensitive to the needs of this fragile ecosystem and do everything that is possible to protect them and support the government which has well-drafted policies and regulations in place. This is a noble cause to halt deforestation and prevent pollution, promote the conservation and restoration of lost habitats. Biodiversity conservation is our own conservation on Earth. Come, let's join hands and let's do our bit 
to save our estuarine and mangrove forests and their rich biodiversity for posterity.